Hey guys, Randomax here. Um, I don't have a lot of people that I can talk tech to in my life, so, and that's just my language. So I'm just gonna be doing this review tech USA style. I got some Black Ops 2 footage up there, and you can just listen to my not at all ready for voice acting kind of terrible voice. So, um, anyway, I was at work and I was bored, pulled out my phone and looked up because I remembered I saw a commercial for the uh, Core i7 6700K. And I was like, well, I wonder how good that is. So I looked up, see if there were any early benchmarks. And apparently there are. And on almost every single site I saw, they were complaining that it was only 5 to 10% faster than the 4790K. And I don't understand, all right? The 4790K is like, that is the top tier, highest end quad core processor you can get on Haswell right now. And I don't understand what the big deal is. We're talking not the 4700 not the 4770, but the 4790 top tier, okay? And the lowest, the, the lowest end one you can get on the 6700 series, the lowest 6700 series quad core processor you can get is 10% faster than the fastest you can have on Haswell. And that's a bad thing. Um, I don't, I don't understand, but... I'm not buying Intel, I'm going with AMD, probably getting an old 8320 next build, uh, cause I'm on a budget and I can't afford too much, you know, college and everything, but, uh, yeah, I don't see why that's a bad thing, cause if they price it accordingly, where they're gonna drop the price of the 4790, and that thing is still a beast, it's, it's still pretty much new, and it's, you can't find much faster unless you're going for the 5960X, and even that, the 49, 4790K beats in single core benchmarks. So I don't understand what the big deal is and why everyone's complaining. I don't think they understand, but they have to because they're tech forums. I don't know what's going on, but maybe there's something I didn't hear about or something. But the 4770K is at 4 gigahertz the turbo's up to 4.6 6700k base clock is 4 gigahertz turbo's up to 4.4 so at a 200 megahertz lower turbo speed it's getting 5 to 10 percent faster than the highest end quad core you can get on haswell again and that's a bad thing i don't know how maybe maybe if anyone watching it just likes this and stuff and wants to try and explain to me what I'm missing because I honestly don't get it. But um, thanks, guys. Uh, tell me if you like doing this. This is just going to be probably every once in a while thing that just to get my tech talk out there because no one else will listen, really. But, yeah, so hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, make sure you like comment, favorite, subscribe, whatever you do, and see you next time.